But let's move into our favorite weekly topic. We are talking about the dampest of dudes, the moistest of men's, the soggiest of shooters. We are talking about the wettest of boys. If you don't know what a wet boy is, these are the guys that absolutely went off over the past week, had historic performances, had you know impressive numbers, uh, you know did something very spectacular, uh, warmed our hearts in some cases. Uh, these are our wet boys. We do have a counter. Last year, our wet boy of the year was LeBron James. Mm-hmm. And I think we might have a new leader or at least a new tie. We've got uh, two new ties. A, a two, two new ties uh, at the top. Ricky, tell us about that tie. No, well, mine is the first of those to be tied, and that is uh, Derek Rose. Uh, popped off this week, uh, mainly getting the MVP chance from the so hometown cool. Chicago crowd, Bunch as I'm going to call it, because, nah. uh, no, Derek Rose is from our city. We love our guys. We love our homegrown, even though he's not with us anymore. We're and trying to convince him to come back. I can't wait until we get a uh, hometown discount next year for Derek Rose to come back and play some <laughs> point guard for yeah, us. Right. But 20... Almost 25 points this week, eight assists, rounded up to nine, shooting ridiculously from the field at 48%. Dude popped off, dude deserves a wet boy, and is now tied with AD at the top. Dave, and I, I'm not trying to bash you. Yep. Mm-hmm. How much of this was just the fact that you loved De- Derrick Rose? And it was either him game. or Zach. That was my so was, that was, was my What decision. about Devin Booker? Mm. He put up 30 mm. and 10. Mm. Booker played really, Over really four good. games. Really, really good. Luca with that crazy shot oh outside of the, the one guy. I hate. Had. I gave Lu- I, I'm the only one to give Luca love on Wet Boys. Just just saying. Yeah, but I didn't, only give, I didn't give him love because we already took the two best players. There was two clear ones that yeah. Dave and I picked. Um, this one, you had to go away from it. Yeah. I think D Rose was a homer pick. A hundred percent. Well, I like D He's Rose. He's allowed to do it. You like I'm, D Rose, but I mean, like I feel I'll, like this. I if will, he wins. Wet boy I will of the year, also a, be. I will also be um, honest too. What kind of leaned into it about fifteen percent is Was the it guy. The picture? No, no, no. The guy that Dave picked would be tied with AD also, and I couldn't let him be the only one tied with AD. I just couldn't do it, so I had to have someone serious. else. That, that was about ten percent. He's gaming the system, but man. But really, Jesus like, Christ. I mean, Derrick Rose did have a good week, and I want to give him love because he my boy and he my wet boy. Let's talk about guys who actually deserve it. I feel bad for Giannis. Giannis puts up <laughs> stupid numbers. We're yeah. like, oh, D Rose. Have you given D Rose two of them? Because I think Dave gave him one. Well, he's now got three. Yeah, yeah I, I gave him know. one. You gave him one. I, I think did. I gave him one. Anyways, Dave, I think you've been giving this guy all of his love, but it's, I, it's been I get, warranted. I gave him one last week. All right, it's been warranted. It's well, well deserved. James Harden, uh, the beard man, he is turning up a notch. Everybody's like, "Well, Chris Paul's hurt. This team's struggling," and James Harden's like, "Bro, I'll see you to the free throw line." Like eleven free throw attempts a game this week, uh, putting up forty two points, seven assists, four boards, forty forty shooting splits. Can't complain about that at all. I just he has been a monster for this Rockets team. They're three and zero this week. Or in the past seven days. Yeah, that's a week. I'm, I'm good at math. Good job. Uh, but no, like he's just, you might not like the way he plays basketball, but you can no longer deny the fact that he is one of the best scores we've ever seen in the NBA. Like I'm talking top 10 score in the NBA history. Like he is. Really? Yeah. Can you think of a guy like who gets as many buckets as he does? We were talking about last year's MVP, the runner up to MVP the year before, the runner up to MVP the year before that, the runner up to MVP the year before that. Like, Give him some credit. I know people literally call him Hitler. Like, they don't <laughs> like... <laughs> Sorry, that's Reddit. Like It's way too harsh. That's what it is. Uh, like, people don't like the game because it slows the game down, but because of him gaining the line, he forces players to play differently because he gets them in foul trouble. He forces situations that are lose-lose on other teams' defenses, and now that Capello's back and playing healthy, oh my god, that Rocket team is steamrolling. I love it. You think he's one of the top 10 greatest scorers of all time? Yeah. Michael Jordan. Yep. Kevin Durant. Yep. LeBron James. Yep. Kareem. Yep. Kobe Bryant. Kobe. Wilt. Kevin Durant. You already said Kevin Durant once. I did. Yep. Mm-hmm. All right. Wilt. Yep. Um. AI. Yep. So would you? Who? Anyone else you want to throw out there for sure? Mm, let me think. Um, I mean, you can toss out the mailman if you want. Like I just disrespect yeah, but he him wasn't a scorer. He was yeah. more of a. I mean, he, put, he was he was longevity. Yeah, and he also yeah. Had one of the best point guards that was yep. distributing at a time. Helped him a lot. I would I would say that James Harden's a more dangerous scorer than Carmelo. Yeah, I, I didn't I watch too. him because Bird? you said Levon, Le, you said LeBron already, right? Yeah, he did. yeah. What LeBron. about Magic? Did you say Magic, Magic, Magic was a great wasn't scorer. a great scorer? Okay, not to James Harden's level. No, I mean Bird? Harden's had so many games over forty. It's not even funny. Bird? No, he, he's on a different level. Mm-hmm. So That's we, what I'm saying. He's a top 10 all-time scorer. And like the arguments there, 
for him getting into the top five range if he continues what he's been doing as of late. So I just think from a number standpoint, he's just like people disrespect him because they hate the I, way he plays. Yeah, I don't like watching him play. Yeah. I'm, I'm not saying that he's not a great player. I, just, I've I never, do not like watching I've him I've never play. sworn more at my TV or friends around me when he plays <laughs> than watching James Harden play because you're like, oh my God, How he's he so dirty. Yeah. He's just grabbing people's arms. He's flailing. He's flopping. It doesn't matter. But he gets his points and you get, you have to respect it. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, is, even though I don't like him play, I mean, it's not even, like, he's not always scoring dirtily. Um, no, like, so, I mean, that's the he's, thing. He's, I mean, what he's been doing recently has been extremely impressive. I mean, mm-hmm. you, you already talked about the 42 or 41 he put up. Um, right now he's averaging 32, which is going to be the longest, uh, or the highest points per game uh, if he keeps it up in, in a very long he's time. He's on a Kobe-esque so. run of just ridiculously high-scoring games. Would you put Dirk on the list? Dirk's longevity. He was never someone who yes. put up... 30 plus a when year. It, when for it comes because these are the strict scoring, uh, yeah. I would say Dirk's a better player, but I would say because these are the total Harden. points. Top, I'll do top 10 as of this would have been the 19th of this year, December 19th. You've got Kareem at one, yeah, Carl at two, um, the Mamba at three, yeah, the Goat at four, the LeBron the James King. at five, the King. Thank you. Um, Wilt Chamberlain at six, Dirk at seven, Shaq at eight, Moses Malone at nine. Elvin Hayes at 10, and then Hakeem and Oscar at 11 and 12. D and Wade. Dominique at 13. Would you put him up above Oh, he's, he's a better scorer than D Wade. Really? Absolutely. Okay. Even Prime D Wade. I, I remember Prime D Wade in like 06. Yeah. 08, 09, he had his highest. What about 30. Allen Iverson? We Wait, put, we, we we put it. Okay. Like, and I even think that he's he's in the same realm as AI. Like, There's an argument to be made for a Reggie, couple of those guys. Reggie Miller? Reggie Miller's overrated. No, no. Paul Pierce? I don't think, he's a no. way better scorer than Paul Pierce. I don't Pierce. think Reggie Miller even had a fucking season over 25. I don't think he did. I think his best season was like 24. But um, no, I just think that... Hit them threes, though. It doesn't matter. He's overrated. He's overrated. His highest was 21. Jesus. No, I'm sorry, 24. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 I thought it was, was 24, a good player. Yeah. He's a good 6. player, but... He, he yeah, but he's not like, like he's overrated. He'd be like Clay Thompson today. Like, Clay Thompson's a much... Mm. Mm, right? A little bit better. higher than Clay Thompson. Really? Clay might be better. I, that's what I'm, I think Clay might be better than him as a player. Yeah. That's, that's we'll have awesome. to compare. Oh, I can compare Reggie Miller. Keep talking. Uh, <laughs> I can let's compare on basketball reference. All right, get results. But uh, yeah, no, I just think that like he gets so much more hate than it's garnered, and what he's done in the past four years is pretty unprecedented. So I, I just I think the disrespect is over the top. I think a lot of players want to hate him because of the way he plays, and like I said, he's he's dirty at times. But when your last four years are 29, 29, 30, and right now thirty two on this year. Come on. He just... I, I literally haven't seen anyone score like him since Kobe. Reggie's obviously played uh, more longer, so he had a uh, you know, shorter span. But uh, Reggie uh, averaged 18 a game, Clay 19 a game. Uh, Clay shot four, 41% from three throughout his career. Reggie shot 39, and uh, Clay has more attempts. Uh, Reggie shot better from the field, 47, compared to Clay's 56. Uh, Clay was taking more shots, though. Uh, Reggie had more assists, three a game compared to two point three. Uh, Reggie looks has better defensive stats. Yeah, um, Reggie That's better surprising, sh- actually. free throw shooter from the line. Uh, one point one steals compared to point nine steals, and then I would uh, Clay look at like, advanced blocks. stats for that. It's actually that's uh, along the lines. Uh, advanced. Um, I mean, you truly can't know. Clay has a higher usage. Yeah. What were we talking about? I was just saying, like, advanced stats kind of suck for when we're comparing between eras, too, because uh, hand checking yeah. was a key part of Reggie Miller's uh, toolkit. Per 100 possessions, Reggie, 121 offensive rating uh, and 109 defensive rating, and Clay, 108 offensive rating compared to 108 defensive rating. So, yeah. I don't know. Reggie's good, I, but I, I still think. I'm not the person to talk overrated. about it because I was not in Reggie Miller's, uh, Miller's uh, era. But, yeah. anyways. Uh, I was in this guy's era, and maybe he does have an argument if he was a little bit more healthy to be one of the best scorers. Oh. Uh, because I think he hasn't had health. He was playing with LeBron James. Oh. Kyrie Irving, 29 points per game this past week, 6-6, six of six, 6 boards, 57% from the field, 50% from three. Had a fuck you three <laughs> in did. that Philadelphia really 76ers did. OT thing. Uh, I think it was off a steal or off a, a rebound. Uh, something happened, comes up the court on the right side and just fires up a three. They were up, I think, maybe one. And he does not waste any time, pulls up a three, sinks it, put up 40 on Christmas, and then followed it up uh, with the game before with 25 uh, in the game following and a loss against Houston uh, with 23. Um, Kyrie, when Kyrie's on, Kyrie's healthy, is absolutely fun to watch. And the one thing, too, 
Uh, there's something about D Rose on Reddit saying like D Rose is one of those guys that you know he's always trying to look for contact but doesn't get a ton of foul calls. Yeah, and doesn't go to the line a ton. Kyrie's the same way. I looked this up. I'm not counting this free throw because mm -hmm. um, it was a technical foul yeah. or it was a like a three second thing. Oh, so he didn't yeah. get fouled and went to the line or he wasn't sh in the act of shooting. Uh, so I'm not counting it, but there was only six players ever to take 33 or more attempts, uh, shot attempts in a game and not go to the line. Wow. Kyrie was one of them on Christmas. Uh, it was Hakeem uh, in 97. He had 40 attempts and at 48 <laughs> points, did not go to the line. Rick Barry in 75 had 34 attempts, put up 34 points, did not go to the line. Uh, Kazzy Russell, uh, 35 attempts, uh, had 34 points, did not go to the line. D. Rose um, in 2015, 33 attempts, 30 points. Gilbert Arenas, 2005, 35 attempts and 27 Gil. points. Uh, Kyrie, 33 attempts and no uh, no shooting fouls. Um, so something very impressive uh, that he did. Yeah. He became the sixth player with Derek 33 Rose attempts. Derek Rose just falls awkwardly all the damn time. So, like, refs just don't give him the benefit. <laughs> <laughs> like, we know you can't stand up on your own, man. Anyways, uh, Kyrie uh, picking up the slack for the yeah. whole Boston team uh, offensively. Uh, let's move into our fantasy updates, though. Fast break, currently sitting at 89 points, fourth, um, comfortably fourth. Um, in fantasy, we are behind Team Grantham with 91 points. Ooh, that's the Big close. Ballers with 101.5, and our good old boy, uh, Kyle, uh, sitting at Phila 076ers at 102 points. Is uh, it weird that now we're like one of the worst teams in rebounds? Like, like we nothing, were so worried about like changed. free throw percentage. Wasn't our rebounds not that bad? Our rebound, we're second we're, in rebound. Yeah, I say we're 12. Am I we're thinking, 12 okay, out of 13 I'm thinking of it the other way. Yeah, no. I'm, yeah. I thought lower number was no. better yeah. for a second. I was thinking no, higher goal number, score. Higher number is better because then the points are all added up. Yeah, right. okay. Um, so right now, field goals, we are sitting at fifth. So we are still garbage at free throw percentage. Field goal percentage, yeah. we are about middle of the pack. Free throw, yeah, we are still th uh, bottom three. Uh, Kyle, Craig, still uh, <laughs> of the uh, field, Dead field last. 76ers. Uh, he's bottom at, at uh, he just don't care free throw percentage, but yeah, and then Team Craft at uh, bottom two, and then we're uh, we're sitting at three. Yeah, but like every other rebound assist, it's funny three pointers blocks, made he's in first yeah. points. Like <laughs> he's in third for three pointers made, <laughs> but in second to last for three point percentage. <laughs> so they chuck, the, they make those shots, but they're chucking look at, a look ton at his of them. team and see who's who's who's, who's breaking them. Uh, but uh. Uh, three feel, pointers was he were with Levine? Fifth. Yeah. Three pointers were at fourth. Rebounds were uh, in second. No. Assists were at no, three. Wasn't. Steals were at three. Blocks we are at fifth. And Real points God. we are at uh, fifth as well. Shea, Drew, Fournier, LeBron. Oh, Fournier. Rudy. Yeah. Um, Darren. Darren, Covington, uh, AG, Aaron Gordon. Um, Jarrett Allen, Eric Gordon, Serge. Um, Bogdanovich Bogey. from uh, the Kings. And then Muscala. Cool. Mm. It's a solid bogey. team. Yeah, so, I was gonna get Bogey a wet boy too. Um, yeah, I was close after that shot. For that yeah. shot, he didn't have any other great games yeah. outside of that. Yeah, I feel like we have a better team than uh, well, De'Aaron, I guess. De'Aaron's been a sleeper. Yeah, Gordon's been good. Which team right. just puts up points. So yeah. what do we do as of late, Sean? As of late, um, let me go to the transaction uh, co uh, counter or whatever the fuck it is. Um, yeah, transaction counter. Uh, we have uh, what the fuck? Where's the transaction stuff? <laughs> Recent activity. All right. Um, so we uh, had JaVale McGee. I dropped him because uh, he was injured. Picked yep. up Dwayne Dedman. Uh, and then Dedman was day to day. So I dropped him, picked up Noah Vonley. <laughs> so right now we're rocking out with Noah Vonley. Uh, Robert Williams just did become available, though. I don't know if we're interested or not. He's I don't day -to -day. know if he gets enough minutes. Yeah, he only had 11 and 8 in his last one. Uh, guy ended up picking uh, What's Up Nation. I think it's Jake. Uh, ended up picking up uh, C.D. Osman. G or G.D. Osman. Jetty. Uh, Jetty Osman, whatever the fuck his name is. Uh, Lo Siento to uh, Chetty Osman. Uh, no, Emmanuel. <laughs> Emmanuel picked up uh, Chetty. Chetty? Chetty. Chetty. Whatever. Sorry, Chetty. Uh, <laughs> that's our thoughts. We, uh, we're we just trying to get healthy. Um, that's the biggest thing with our team. So we're sitting at 89. Uh, haven't dipped, which I'm, I'm pretty proud of. I, uh, honestly, I'm happy. If we can sit in this range, like we're like two points out of third place. And then we get Boogie back in a week or two. Mm -hmm. And Gary Harris will come back at some point. Otto Porter Jr. should come back at some point. Should Isaiah help our team Thomas up. at some point will be available. And well, we could drop Otto Porter if we want. Pick up I'm not IT. ready to do that yet. <laughs> IT's not. Uh, I actually don't Dave, have Dave, I'm not ready him. to do that yet. Otto's actually giving us points and stats, even if he's not playing, you know, as automatic as he used to be. Yeah. Uh, right now he's... Uh, He's, I mean, he's got one and a half steals, which is good. Yeah. Um, but yeah, only eleven points and about one and a half threes per game. So, 
So far, so good though. Hold I'll, I'll say with our team. Yeah, we've gotten much better. We were we were pretty bad uh, to begin the season. Yeah, but, I mean, we're in like seventh or eighth, right? Yeah, we could always turn it around. So I'm I'm, ha- I'm happy with our team. But that's nice. gonna be the uh, fantasy update. And for wet boys, 